All right, so this is uh, my first little platformer game I created with my sprite slash map editor. Uh, the bunny was drawn by my daughter. Everything else was drawn by me. I know the, uh, the dirt and the coin don't look all that impressive, but it's good enough to demonstrate um, this little platformer. So in the map editor, we can see that I can utilize all the images. <coughs> we can... Uh, we can modify these uh, as much as we want, so all this uh, can be moved around, changed. Um, and all I have to do basically is re-export uh, this to the images file. And so I'm going to just override it right now. So this is the word the location is being exported to. Select yes, I'm going to go back to the compiler. And uh, so you'll see this message. Yes, we want to reload check files from disk. And basically that updates um, any of the images we created. And uh, so this is the full code of the platformer. It's uh, less than 300 uh, lines, not including the images. And uh, all the game logic is basically in this file. Uh, some of the uh, logic was created by ChatGPT. Uh, everything else by me. So I'm going to compile it right now so we can see what happens. And so this is the uh, resulting game, basically. <clears throat> so we have this little bunny that we can uh, move left and right and jump with the up arrow key and collect the coin. So as each coin is being collected, the score is being updated. And so this can be expanded. You could have more platformers or remove ones. I'm just going to remove one to show you how simple it is. So let's remove this top one. And let's go back into and re export everything again. And so if we go back and exit the game. And we select reload check files from this. So this updates the map data, which is this right here. Uh, negative ones basically mean an empty tile. The first few set uh, describe the size of the tiles and the size of the map. Uh, we're not using that right now. I, I kind of hard coded that into uh, the program. Um, I'm using the constant values here, not the uh, array values. So if we go into the code, we can see I'm loading up first the images. I'm converting from an image array to a texture. That's how Raylib likes it. And uh, this is the update player here. This is where all the logic for the jumping and uh, going left and right. And basically, this is where we're checking for coin collisions. Um, if the bunny is touching the coins, we increase the score and remove the coin. And basically, this draw game area is where all the drawing ha happens. So we're drawing all the platforms, which we previously loaded from the array. And we're drawing the bunny, and we're drawing the coins, and we're drawing the score. So if we run again, we can see that the top platform disappeared. I gotta put the bunny in a, in a better place where he doesn't land on the bottom platform. But everything keeps working. There's no sound at the moment, but you can add sound. So I'm releasing all the code here. Uh, I'll be a link in the uh, description of the video. And so again, this is a Raylib with Free Pascal. I'm using Lazarus Compiler to uh, put all this together. And there's a link to my sprite editor and map editor as well, so you can download that and make your own games.